Hi, I'm Dave from VVAX Metrotech. This is a short tutorial on how to make the VM550 work to help you locate buried utilities. This kit can be used to locate pipes, wires, cables, uh, through any of three different techniques. We can clip onto the conductor for locating, we can put a signal clamp around the conductor for locating, we can also use the transmitter to spill signal onto conductors for locating purposes. Let's start with clipping. Here's our transmitter. I'll simply connect uh, the red lead to the wire that's sitting beside the buried uh, private gas line. I'll put my ground stake in the ground. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to put the ground, ground stake over here. Push this thing in. Clip on. Go back to my transmitter. So here's the transmitter itself. This is the on-off button. This is the frequency selector. That's all there is. We have a choice with between low power and high power. We also have a choice of frequencies. Right now I'm activated 8.19 kilohertz. We just call that 8 kilohertz. I also have a choice of 8 or 83 kilohertz. If you use 8 kilohertz, you can get a depth measurement with your receiver. Not so in 83. So let's leave it in 8 kilohertz. The transmitter's turned on. We're sending out signal. I can put it down here. Now we'll do the now we'll do the locate. Here's the receiver. Same, similar types of icons. I'll flip it upside down so you can see this a little bit easier. Here's the universal on-off button. If I push and hold the button, the signal lights up. The last time this was used, it was in 60 hertz. We'll come back to that. So I'm going to switch to 8 kilohertz. To do that, you push this button here, push and hold it. 60 hertz lines up. I can change frequencies by pushing the plus or minus button until I see what I want, which is... 8 kilohertz. To lock it in, I press this button. Now 8 kilohertz is working. Sometimes the mute button activates, in which case there's a little axe through the speaker there. You can't see it, can't easily see it, but it's there. And it, it, while the signal's still there, you can't hear it. So to, to release the mute so you can hear it, you push this button. Now you can hear the signal, and I can see by the signal bar here I'm right off screen. So I'm going to take my receiver now, and I'm going to move down to where the line actually is. I'll adjust my gain down once, and let it go to work. So this is the motion. You sweep back and forth. When you're right on top of the conductor, by the way, there's also a secondary volume control. It's this thing right here. It involves your thumb. You just place your thumb over that speaker. So you get your locate. You can hear where it is. And by rotating the receiver, if you're, if you're not properly in line, the signal will go quiet like this. That means I'm not facing the right way. That means the conductor is going in. The highest sound takes me in the direction of the conductor. So then it's just a matter of swinging the receiver back and forth, following the line, see where it takes me to. So here's us doing a locate. Now my signal's getting a bit weak as I walk away from the transmitter, so I'm going to turn my gain up just a little bit by pushing the plus button here. Just a little bit. Here it comes. Now I'm back to a good locate signal, and I continue doing my locate. I'm going to follow it around the corner. We can see clearly that that conductor is exactly right here and going in this direction. So as I follow this line around the corner, it makes the corner. In fact, anytime you're doing a locate, if you have signal here, and you lose signal, the first thing you should do is stop and sweep the receiver in two different directions. In this case, you'll hear the signals over here. Whenever you hear signal to one side of you, step over to that signal and follow it. And now I can continue to follow this line right around the corner. Here we are, tracing the gas line that I put my signal on back there. This kit is ideal for locating private utilities, uh, backyard locates. It's great for landscapers. It's great for uh, excavators, uh, anybody in the uh, excavation business, tree planting, etc. Uh, anyone digging around your house allows you to locate conductors that are privately owned. That would include things like this Generac, the feed lines coming and going out of the Generac, uh, power and gas, or gas barbecues, or pool heaters, or in-ground uh, lighting circuits. It's a fantastic little locate set for, for that purpose. Once we've done the locate, let's show you how the depth measurement works. I simply position my, my receiver over top of the field, look for the strongest signal, rotate it to make sure it is the strongest signal, and it is. 
Stand the receiver straight up and down and simply push this button once quickly, like this. It comes up and says two foot ten inches deep. It'll default itself to clear in just a moment. All right, now we're going to show you how to locate a power conductor using the VM550 transmitter and receiver. And instead of using the signal clips where we clip onto a conductor, we're going to use the signal clamp instead. It's pretty straightforward. All you do is clamp around the conductor you want to follow. Make sure the jaws of the clamp are closed. Turn on your transmitter. We're going to select 8K by pushing the frequency button if it wasn't already there. Then we simply step back from our connection point. You wouldn't normally locate too close to your connect connection, connection because there would be too much field coming off the wires. So in this case, I'll step back to about here. I'll turn on the transmitter or receiver. I'll adjust my gain down. Or adjust my gain until I have some signal. Here's my signal right here. I can stop anytime I want because I'm in 8 kilohertz and take a depth reading. Stand it straight up and down, push the button once. It says five foot, 10 inches deep. It clears and I can keep doing my locate. So we can clearly see where this conductor is by clamping around it. We could also have taken our transmitter and gone to the far end and put our signal on at that end and located back to here. Another great feature of the VM550 system is it has power mode. So you can locate using the receiver alone in power mode, 60 hertz, even, even without using a transmitter. To do that, you simply turn on power mode. To activate 60 hertz on your receiver, you simply push and hold this button until the last frequency you use pops up. You can scroll up and down the frequencies by pushing this button here until, what you, until you see what you want, in this case 60 hertz. When you like what you see, you push the button, it turns it on. Then it's simply a matter of taking the receiver, coming down to where you think the line is or might be, and sweeping across. And what you hear is that power sound when you're on top of the conductor. I adjust my gain down a little bit. I can zero in on exactly where that line is. So I can see where I have an energized power conductor, and that is a power conductor that's under load. If this was a, a conductor that didn't have any load on it, or very weak load, you likely wouldn't pick it up in power mode. So 60 Hz finds the most dangerous kind of conductors, the ones that are loaded with a good 60 Hz field. So once we find the 60 Hz field, if we want more information about that, we can follow this line to its source, or, or, or we can put our own signal on this without even exposing it. And the way we're going to do that is by switching to induction mode. In induction mode, we're simply going to bring the transmitter to where we found this line right here. We're going to put the, the transmitter on the ground and spill signal into the soil, hopefully have it picked up by the conductor beneath us, and then locate it using 83 kilohertz on the receiver itself. So now that we've located a line in power mode right here, I'm simply going to take my transmitter and with nothing plugged into it, place it on top of and in cro across the direction of where we think this line is traveling. I'll simply turn on the transmitter and with nothing plugged into the transmitter it automatically uh, defaults to, to the induction mode which in this case is 83 kilohertz. So now that cho it shows 83 kilohertz we can begin our locate. You never want to locate within about 30 or 40 feet of the transmitter though to avoid picking signal up right through the air. So we're going to step further down the, where we believe this line is and pick it up and follow it from there. This is probably far enough here. So the transmitter is about 50 feet away from me now. I'll turn on my signal so I can hear it. I'll tune in 83 kilohertz. Turn down my gain, and here I am doing a locate. So we can clearly see where the line is, what direction it's facing in, and simply turn and follow, walk, walking away from the transmitter off towards the source. And if you want to know exactly where this line is, you simply move the receiver and listen for the highest signal right here, rotate it, and 
that's where you put the paint right there that's where this line is hey thanks for watching this short instructional video on the features and benefits of the vm550 system we hope you've enjoyed this if you do have any questions please contact us at vbacks-metrotech.com or click the link below thank you